YouTube, what's good with you, man? It's your boy Rebuke hollering at you live in the flesh, man. And yo, shout out to all my new and current subscribers. Thank you so much for choosing to roll with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the family. What's up to all my current subscribers? I say Shalom, family. And hey, we on our way to a million subscribers, man. So let's keep up the hard work. Thank you for the views, the likes, the shares, and the comments. Now, family, what this the length that this devil went to to do the wickedness that he did is just unthinkable, man. Look at this devil right here. Listen to this. Florida predator, predator who hid in crawl space under the house and secretly recorded young girls showering gets decades behind bars. That's right. He was so intent and so focused on doing something and wicked like this to these little girls. He crawled up underneath the house. Listen to these details right here. Joseph Troy Holbert, courtesy of Escambia County, Florida Sheriff's Office, Marblehead. Let's listen to what Marblehead did. A 54-year-old man in Florida would spend more than two decades behind bars after admitting to hiding in the crawl space beneath the home so he could surreptitiously film two young girls showering. U.S. District Judge T. Kent Weatherrail II on Wednesday ordered Joseph Troy Holbert to serve a sentence of 25 years in the federal penitentiary, authorities announced. Shout out to that judge, man. Thank you, judge, for getting that sex offender off the streets. Holbert previously pleaded guilty to two counts of producing images and videos of child pornography. His prison sentence will be followed by a lifetime of supervised release, and he must register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. According to a press release from the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Florida, Holbert, in February 2023, hid in the crawl space underneath the family member's home and used a hidden camera to film two girls ages eight and nine undressing and bathing in the outdoor shower after swimming in the family pool. In the family's pool. Th this is his relatives he done this to. The girls reported what they seen to an adult in the home who confronted Holbert and demanded to see his phone. He declined and immediately left the home, authorities said. In an interview with deputies from the Escambia County Sheriff's Office, the two victims said they were showering when they spotted a black wire protruding out of the wall of the outdoor shower whilst they were in there after playing outside in their bathing suits, court documents state. They were nude in the shower, saw the black wire and pulled on it, which allowed them to see a cellular telephone attached to it. Federal authorities wrote in the probable cause affidavit, ECSO located the crawl space, found moved dirt in the area, and seized the black wire that was connected to the cellular telephone of Holbert, which he left behind in his haste to leave the residence. Man, man, man. Investigators determined that on the end of the wire was a remote camera attached to a cell phone that was being operated by Holbert as he hid in the crawl space under the house while filming the victims showering. Both girls told investigators that after they pulled the wire through the shower, they were able to see Holbert holding a cell phone as he crawled away in the space beneath the house. Authorities the following day located Holbert and executed a search warrant on the home where he was filming the two minors. In the child's bedroom, authorities found a hidden camera that had been placed inside of a wall outlet. The footage from the camera showed both victims fully nude in front of the device. Investigators also noticed that the height and angle of the camera was focused directly on the pubic area of the minors when standing. A forensic review of Holbert's electronic devices, which deputies said he attempted to destroy, revealed hundreds of images, videos of one of the minor victims from the shower and bedroom cameras. Crimes against our children are amongst the most sinister types of offenses and deserving of the most significant sentences, U.S. Attorney Jason R. Cootie said in a statement. 
Those who produce child pornography faci uh, facilitate the abuse of children, robbing them of their innocence. We will continue to work tirelessly with our law enforcement partners to investigate and prosecute those who engage in such heinous conduct. Shout out to the good prosecutors and law enforcement man that was able to get this horny little old devil, 54 year old man off the streets and into federal custody where he has 25 years to think about the harm that he caused on those two kids. And let's make sure that we pray for those children and make sure that those babies, those little girls get our prayers, man. And, and, and we pray that they have a, a speedy recovery, man, and, and get some kind of normal life. And it's a good thing, like I said a few seconds ago, that this predator is off the street for the next 25 years and he will not be able to hurt no more children or film them. As a matter of fact, now you will be under constant surveillance from the cameras that's inside the federal penitentiary where you will be living at for the next 25 years. YouTube, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.